Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play Jake Coon 2. In the last episode, we took on the Fire Throne, the second Fire Forest. We finished it off. We did some merging, but uh, today, today, we have some more merging to do and an advancement test. I should be able to get the advancement test done today. Um, the trick really for this one, um, Little Foo is strong, but very, very uh, not able to take hits. So having keeping small in the corner here is going to work out pretty well. And the fact that you know, they have some D rank moves and they're at pretty high level right now. That helps. When you merge, it generally makes them a little bit weak for a while, so it makes uh, timing the taking the advancement test a little bit tricky. But I'm going to merge Tamal because he's in a pretty good spot, I think. Anyway, um, basically, I decided I'm not going to get the comma. You know, I'll just take the comma that I get, I guess. Ironically, I think I'm going to go with a D rank comma as opposed to a C rank, which means going to the Fire Forest is completely and utterly useless, and I probably should have done the Wind Forest first. But, whatever, it's just, that's just how it's gonna be, I guess. Because I'm gonna merge with this one. Mostly because I want to have this sort of crit chance thing, and basically it um, gives 50% crit chance, plus an extra 10% from the ability. It's a good ability to have, especially if I want to have it late game. Having a 60% crit chance on an S rank ability is really powerful. So, that's the plan for Jamal. I'm gonna give him that ability, I'm gonna give him the ability to basically do some really strong crits. Or, well, not really strong crits, but just crit really often. 10% more often, technically. And, uh, make him just sort of like a physical powerhouse. Late game, he's gonna have, like, ridiculous crit chance. And that should hopefully, uh... I mean, it's basically based on a flip of a coin, but there aren't that many abilities that are really worthwhile. In terms of, like, S rank or A rank abilities for the fire one, anyway. Unless you're just going with the pure damage ability, in which case, just like, well... Whatever, it's a pure damage ability. There are stronger abilities to use than just the pure damage one. So, that's gonna be the plan. It'll make him a little bit weak until we get to uh, a B rank move, but the B rank move, once we hit that, he is going to just spike in power. And he's gonna have that extra 10% crit chance on top of it, which I think balances off an additional strength. So, I mean, I could have gone with the burn attack, but in the end, I think I'm gonna go with this and see how it works. It's gonna, gonna kinda beat the game plan. The other two, they're at level 18, uh, they'll be at level 19 by the time I get their ability. By the end of this episode, I'm hoping I can get the other two comma and get these other two mergers done. But first, we have a new party member to add to our team, and I'm going to do just that with a level 3 advancement test. So, been a while since we have one of these, and they'll be, uh, they'll be few and far between at this point. But, uh, they're pretty good, and we will make do. So, uh, we start off with a guy, this guy. Alright, how do I want to start this off? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to switch or not. I'm going to assume he's not. Or, he, I mean, I'm going to assume he is. That's what I meant to say. And he actually did, so good. I get the blind off. I get the, hopefully, poison. I get the poison, good. Blind poison is a very effective combination, as you can tell. Unfortunately, for some reason, they tend to, like, to hit the side ones first, but... The fact that I have them blinded basically, uh, helps out a lot. Attack the middle one, yes! I don't care if Lil'Fu is blinded, because blind is useless against magic in this game. So with this, and hopefully a crit, 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 crit! No crit. A crit would have killed. Alas, what can you do? I'm gonna switch back into this formation because, uh... It would out I would hopefully outspeed the Alco. Maybe not, because, uh, these... The advanced as you can see, they're using C-level attacks. They're a little bit stronger than I currently am. But, uh, it's something I'm just gonna have to make do with. So, we're gonna go ahead and blind this guy so he's essentially out of commission. As you can see, Tamal's MP is going to be an issue throughout this whole thing, but uh, it's something we will have to deal with. So at this point, I feel fairly safe just going in here and just going for the burn, finishing it off, and uh, wasting a little bit more MP to get one attack on the shield here. That's pretty handy. Um, I am worried about the MP situation, but I can kind of deal with that in a little bit. So I'm gonna let a little bit more damage happen here. Unfortunately, this guy does have speed. As you can see, it's, this is the evolved version of stealing. These guys are actually evolved. One level beyond my my guys themselves. Uh, right now, Scooter's the only fully evolved one. So, I guess that's interesting, thanks to Imago, of course. But we'll be getting these evolutions soon, so I guess a little sneak peek into Ceiling's future there. Uh, kind of interesting, I suppose. Anyway, basically, at this point, I'm just going to sit here and heal. And let, uh, I'm going to sort of trade off Scooter's MP to let Tabal gain back a little bit of MP. Because you do gain a little bit of MP back between battles, but... I need to maintain Tamal's MP, especially for the second battle of these three. So, I'm just going to kind of do a couple stall turns here. As you can see, I'm getting MP back fairly rapidly. 
Uh, I think I'll go with one more, and then I'm just gonna go into my fire formation to finish this off. So, because I believe an attack from a uh, little Foon Tamal will be enough to fight this guy. Uh, these ones tend to be fairly weak um, in terms of actual defensive ability. Okay, no, he can live a hit. Well, that, actually, no, it's pretty little. Yeah, I was expecting him to be able to live one hit, not two. So, that's good, because right now, he's going to give up, and that'll give Tamal the, uh... He won't have to waste MP to finish him off. Well, I guess little food would have anyway, but who cares? We're at decent MP now. This is a scary situation to see, though. Three of these guys. I don't like that, but the question is, is he, is he going to stay or is he going to switch? Because... I'm going to have to... Okay, he is going to switch, unfortunately. That's kind of annoying, because this is going to probably hurt. Although, crit, 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 crit! You know, all this extra crit chance, and it's not even coming into play. That's kind of sad. Maybe my decision to make this give Tamal that ability wasn't actually a good one. <sighs> Alas, what can you do? Uh, my HP is... He didn't really hit, though, so... My health is in good shape. I'm just going to go ahead and take this opportunity to actually dial down the center here and uh, finish him off. So that works. Still no crits. A little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Although all this missing is certainly helping my cause. Um, at this point, honestly, I'm just going to stay in here and essentially win. <laughs> because I'm going to be able to switch out into... Uh, well, I guess Scooter's not going to be able to take the hits from the fire guy that well. But at this point, he's at such low health that I can honestly finish him off with no matter what happens. So he's going to switch out to the fire guy. Um, all I'm going to do at this point is just sort of heal stall once again for MP and for, you know, the fact that Tamal actually does need some help. So uh, we'll go ahead and heal him up here. And after this, the last fight isn't too terrible from what I remember. So we should be in a pretty decent shape. I don't know, Stroke Chance was kind of an ability that I'm just like, it's something that's going to pay off more late game, I, I'm hoping, than uh, mid game. Because right now, honestly, as you can tell, it's kind of a little bit mediocre. That being said, this guy's out of MP. So I can actually just uh, use this opportunity to heal Scoot up a bit more, because I believe I'm healing more than uh, I'm taking. I mean, I'm doing pretty good healing right now, so despite it being just a D-level move. Uh, I guess it's kind of even out, so... I guess at this point, uh, we'll have to just settle for the fact that the Scooter's gonna have decently low HP. And, uh, how much does this cost? I don't- I can't tell how much the MP costs here. It looks like it's about the same, so we'll just go ahead and do this. Go in and kill, and then finish him off. So, Tamal's still a little bit low on MP, but other than that, we're in a fairly good situation. So, I don't know. Burn attack versus stroke chance. It's gonna be a gamble for sure. I'm hoping the extra crit ends up just making it decent. So we have two of these guys, so I'm gonna obviously wanna blind. Although I guess he's gonna go into this instead. This could be problematic. Um, poison? No poison. Because, yep, they have the sleep move. And that is nothing I ever want. Although if they both miss, that would be a beautiful thing. Come on, miss! Oh my goodness, they actually missed all of them. Wow. And he's gonna switch- okay, I was like, please switch back in this guy, because I want one of these guys to be blinded and preferably poisoned as well. Okay, we got both on that guy. That means he's not gonna be able to- I mean, one of them's gonna be hurting quite a bit. Ow! But the other one won't be able to hit, really. So, that puts me in a fairly good situation. I feel fairly comfortable moving back into here, although, darn it, it went first! Ugh, that's a little obnoxious, because now they're both asleep, and that's not what I want to see. The good news is the poison's gonna be wearing down the uh, other formation as well, although now they can see again, so this is also problematic. I... shoot. This is gonna be tricky, because this is gonna hurt... Wait a bit. Oh, thank you for a miss! That's the other thing. Sonic Boom, I think, does tend to miss a lot, so it's also a risky move for that reason as well. I really need to all to wake up, but I need to also get, uh... someone blinded here or I'm gonna be in trouble. Although the blind didn't actually hold! Crap. The good news is Tamal's gonna wake up if he doesn't die, please. Well, Tamal died. Gonna make things a little trickier. But I can go into here and at least uh, finish this one off. As you can see, this is his only offensive monster at this point. So as long as I can keep a offensive monster a alive, I can uh, at least just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, and also he's in attack mode. So I'm actually okay. I took a lot of damage. 
This is why the AoE abilities are not something I'm fond of, though, because they run out really fast. And all he has left is the sleep guys. Yeah, they're gonna be obnoxious, but I can, you know, I, I, they're not gonna be able to hurt me. That's what's important. It might just stall the fight out a bit longer, but especially because Scooter obviously will not fall. Well, he will fall asleep, but he resists it pretty well. So I'm gonna go in here because this guy can finish him off first. Uh, I'm a little worried about the. Don't fall asleep. I guess you do. Little fool, you. Thank you for waking up finally. I appreciate that. Uh, I think I can actually just w beat this guy one-on-one, -on -one, maybe, I don't know. Can I get two sh- am I two shot by this guy or not? Uh, I think I can take the hit. So, it looks like I'm gonna win this fight barely. Cause I'm gonna be able to go first next turn to finish this guy off, so... Oh, especially cause he doesn't have the ability to attack me anymore, that also helps. Oh, don't put me to sleep, that's really rude. You're really annoying, sir. Whatever. Oh, you outspeed me this time, apparently, for some reason. Well, putting all my attackers to sleep is really obnoxious. I'm just gonna keep switching back and forth, apparently, until something happens. Alright, whatever, I'm gonna go heal. Oh, now you switch to this guy, of course. Not that it matters, he's out of MP at this point. That's another reason why C rank moves are, or a C rank move could have been trickier, especially for this fight, because... Tamal would have run out of MP really fast. Oh my goodness. Are you just gonna let me kill you, or are you just gonna keep doing this? Is, is this how it's gonna be all the time? Cause... Good. No more of this falling asleep thing. I'm just gonna go kill you now. Goodbye. Cause he can't really do anything at this point. If he switches to his other guy, Celine's gonna kill him. Tamal dying doesn't matter, cause experience is not a thing that matters here. Um, you don't get experience for these fights. In other words, it's completely and utterly pointless. Hello, you're going to die. And Ceiling's just gonna clean up at this point, so he's gonna go finish off this guy, and the advancement test has been won. So that crit there against Tamal was definitely problematic, but we made do. So you fought well. Basically, we have our next uh, beast amulet. We now have room for a new divine beast, which is pretty fancy, dancy Dutch, if I do say so myself. So. Basically, um, I'm gonna add Hello. a new party member. However, I do believe um, I was looking through the the bank in between, and uh, I actually do have some juju bars to give to my Na. So I'm going to do that and give a uh, Shadow Mario here a little power boost, and then I will add my party member Gaia. Finally, will join the team. Thank but I'm just quickly gonna go ahead and uh, give him these in the meantime, and quickly uh, put some stuff in the bank, and then. It'll be time to start the wind forest. I'm hoping I can get the two comma I need right away. They should show up in the earlier forest. Oh, hello. Who's that? The king of where? Have I done this conversation Don't before? You know the legend of Al-Qaeda? Karis was the last tyrant who caused the age of the apocalypse. Apocalypse. Anyway, back story. Wait, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the other person. Go away. Go away. Yeah, really, really. Anyway. Uh, so I just want to pick up, uh, I want to stat, I think I have something here I need to get rid of, uh, this. And then I'll pick up a couple things. It's a shame I can't use all these hard cognates, but whatever, what can you do? Um, oh, that's a, that's an actual egg. I was like, I have a Mauboosy item? Those exist? They probably do, I just, you don't get them very often, unfortunately. But I will power up my guy. I don't know why I'm wasting time doing this, but whatever. Um, up by three, not bad. And up by three again. So, Shadow Mario is going to be a very uh, interesting addition to my water formation at some point. He's going to do a lot of damage. Basically, I figured I should give my water formation an ability to actually hurt people. I think that's going to be a, a good idea. But, well, well, we'll see. Anyway, let's actually add the person to the team that needs to happen. Uh, we'll merge Shadow Mario and other people when I get back. Because, like I said, I'm going to quit the Wind Forest halfway through in order to get those Kama. So, I'm going to drop you off, I'm going to pick up my new Gaia, who's going to go in the corner of the fire and uh, earth side, but for now, it's just going to be the earth. Actually, I only level C move at the moment, because I didn't give Tamal one, which I still question my decision whether or not that was a good idea, but uh, we'll see if it pays off. At the very least, you know, it just gives him a slight drop of power until rank B, in which case, you know, the extra 10 crit chance 
Crits can save lives! Crits can help a lot, if you get lucky. I just didn't during that advancement test, but it didn't really matter, I guess. So, whatever. Let's move on. Um, actually, I'm going to save before I actually start, so give me a sec. Alright, we're back. So, time for Wind Forest. We got our team. Everything's good. Looks like it. Uh, just a reminder, Basilian's going to level up, like, right now. And Little Foo's going to level up uh, at a decent enough time. So, we should have them both at level 19 at least by the time we uh, can merge them, which is good. It's a good number to get to. So, Wind Forest 2. Let's begin. Gonna be an exciting time. Gonna go get some wind. Gonna be a lot of fun. Gonna go get some wind. Um, but yeah, we'll get like the first one or two done and then we'll call it a video. So, comma? Actually, yes. Yeah. Although, I'm looking for a bug type comma, not a coup type comma. So, not quite what I'm looking for yet. But, you know, it's something. It's something! Anyway, basically, if I remember correctly, this one's going to be lowering our attack power, I believe. Um, but we do have a new we have a new guy. I can show this off, I guess. Um, actually, it's going to lower our attack power now. And I'm okay with this because, you know, I want to get all the sides in here anyway. So, Blast, however, is not affected by attack power. So, there's that. i um, going to go ahead and get the this set. But um, Blast, as you remember, does a set amount of damage. So... Basically, it will always be doing 68 damage no matter what, which actually makes it pretty decent for now. However, later it's going to get a little bit outclassed. Um, but, oh, I kind of meant to let Scooter get the th thing here, but I actually went to fire formation. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have lived uh, Tamal and Scooter combined efforts anyway, so what can you do? Uh, Scooter is going to level up regardless, and he's going to be stuck at 19 anyway, so really, it's more important that we make sure that little Foo gets to level 19, and everyone levels up, and he levels up many times! Don't forget, Guy is a whole merge behind, so, um, Guy will be catching up very rapidly. I would be actually, I would actually, uh, by the time we're done with, like, the extra episode of this set of force, I wouldn't be surprised if it's already, uh, at... Time to merge again, so we'll be merging fast. There is a guy right there. We just got the comma for this one, but uh, we can fight it anyway, just for just for S's and G's, as I like to say. So it'll try to lower our attack again. That's fine. It's not gonna affect this guy again because it doesn't. It does almost kill it though, so whatever. Like I said, Ceiling really doesn't need the experience because I don't expect Ceiling to get to level 20 before I get the thing anyway. So we're going to go ahead and do a little dance, and then we're going to go and do stuff <laughs> basically that's, that's just how it goes so i'm more focused on making sure the food gets to 19 and uh gaia and scooter and tamal sort of catch up as i then i am uh ceiling getting anywhere currently so keep that in mind i suppose anyway what else do we have we have to hopefully find these two comma there's two i need to get uh one for foo and one for ceiling what do we got today? Hello, Gil. Master Kahu, Master Kahu, come, come. Mega Man, Mega Man. No, okay. Gil. I have made an incredible discovery. Did you find the orb? What is it? Then it's no big orb. It's well, way to be a buzzkill. Do not be surprised. I am shocked and amazed. What? God? I am shocked and amazed. More He's discovered God. Of the divine spirit of knowledge, Maman. Or just. A descendant of God. It's not something you find every day. I found a descendant of God! Yeah! This is a what? Of divine spirit of knowledge. Yamu Meet is Yamu. This divine spirit of knowledge looks more like a chestnut in its fur. That he does, and he looks he's so silly. He looks really quiet. Kahu looks so happy. I have a moment. Nice first word. My, it is certainly intellectual. Basically, it's a very childish sort of spirit. Now, now, Yamu, you must not be greedy. It's almost kind of like his little pet. Yamu, what? Stop! Yamu, you're so greedy. Mr. Gil, how did you find him? I gave him some food, and he became attached. No, he said, "Well, how did you find him? What not how did you get him to stay with seems you?" To be a spirit protecting the divine Bao Bao tree. A spirit who gets attached to you with food can't be good for anything. 
Well, I don't know. Rude. Who are you calling a dragonfly? You're pretty cheeky. Yeah, she's a fairy. She's super effective against dragons. Jeez, you just want to give and give. How rude! How rude are you? Where did you come from, Yamu? Good question. Beyond the forest. Far, far beyond. Interesting. No, not that. Which forest? Um, go forest. Go through forest. Kahu, you probably should stop trying to talk oh, to this guy. Doesn't even know himself. Anyway. Hello, Gil. So, what are you going to do with this Yamu now? Best friends! Forever. I intend to take him with me. Same thing. Serious? He seems to have become lost in this forest. He does not seem to have self-awareness. Not really. So he's lost. Once my work is done, I may return him to his original forest. So there's kind of just a subplot here of Gil and Yamu. It's it's interesting, I guess, but uh I mean it's not super important to the main plot, but it, it's 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 something. It's something. Like I said, these plots aren't really that, you know. Oh my god, amazing! This is like the best plot in the world! Oh man! No, not really. Not really. Anyway, like I said, I still want to find this comma. Can you be in the here? No, but do we have a battle? You're a Mao beast hunter, right? How do you find Mao divine beasts? I can't seem to find any. You know, disregarding Tamal. That is a matter of luck and effort. Only Elrim knows where they are and how they can be found. But there is a good way. Oh? Is there a secret move or some cheat code? Is it online somewhere? Ha! Ah, fourth wall breaking! Those sneaky ways are no good! No good, Squeak! It Squeak. might be good to battle Mao Beast Hunters in the forest. Really? Then let's fight! Not now. Next time. Oh. Disappointing. Not that we need another Mao, we have our Mao, his name's Tamal, he's pretty cool, and he doesn't afraid of anything. But, anyway, looks like we're not gonna get the calm I need yet. I might have to redo the forest, honestly. That might be a thing that happens. Um, because I want to get these calm right away. And he's not here, unfortunately, so... Hopefully he'll show up in the second one! And I know the video's gonna kinda run a bit long, but I really wanna find these calm And once I find them, I'm gonna stop anyway, so... Probably not going to get through this whole forest, at least. Um, I, don't, I don't know, maybe maybe the other one that I'm looking for isn't even on here, because it's, it's this guy right here that I want to fight to get it. Uh, the elemental magic, basically, for the wind side, because Fu is a mage. You know, it's what mages do. So, in fact, we're going to demonstrate the magic right now, which is probably going to hurt. Well, it didn't actually hurt that much. Gaia is tanky. Gaia, wow, Gaia can one-shot it. Wasn't quite expecting that. But, things are kind of fragile, I guess. If they can get one shot by 68 damage only. Jeez. That's, that's something. Hello, guy. I don't want to fight you. I want to just find your Kalma friend. Can we just have, like, your Kalma? And he'll just be like, hey, I'm a Kalma. Let's be best friends. And that's a healing thing, so I don't need to deal with that right now. I can heal later. Ugh. All I want to do is find this. That's all I ask for. Is that, is that too much to ask for? All I, oh, hey, I want to fight you too. Um, this is the other comma I want to find, obviously. So these two comma, hopefully they'll be on. I know they're, they show up on these floors, so if I don't find them, honestly, I might just do the whole cut thing because I'm going to reach level 20 really fast and I don't want to waste experience. So I need to do these mergers now. And unlike Tamal, where I don't have, I don't really have a better alternatives for these two. They need those specific comma. So such is the way of life. Sometimes I think hopefully he's not gonna get one shot by this. Actually, he's gonna get blinded anyway, so that's not gonna even matter because you're probably gonna miss, or he's gonna hit. I take that back. Like I said, getting make sure you sure little food gets the experience because little food needs to be at level 19. Should be by the time we fight the comma because it's gonna get a lot of experience from the comma, so we should be okay. That's the game plan. So no level up yet, but uh, no comma either. We still have to find both of them actually, so. Little Fool will definitely get the experience. Honestly, if I'm getting, uh, how close is Kibbles? Oh, he's really far away. He's not going to get that in time. Okay, noted. So, all I want for Christmas is 
This also works. Um, this will actually be a good one to add to, uh, th this will be a good actual party member. So this actually works out in my favor fairly well, surprisingly. Interesting. Um, anyway, going to, uh, 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 I want to kill things, so kill things. But there we go, we actually got a new Divine Beast. That's, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, there's the critical that we don't need, but as you can see, when I get the criticals, they hurt a lot. So, uh, well, we got ourselves a new bug. That's good. I'm glad to get for that this happens here, like this. Because having someone to raise in the background is pretty good, and this is actually a fairly decent one to add to the corner there. It'll have really high wisdom. I'm hoping to give it a, a healing move and not necessarily an offensive move, like, like its uh, namesake would have, but something else. You'll see. Um, I want to get make sure uh, guy gets the experience, so it's probably going to kill it, but like I said, ceiling's experience is mute at this point, so that's a moot point. So, you die. Have a good day. Goodbye. Anyway, more experience, more leveling up. Definitely need to find the comma that I am looking for, but now we have a bug, and that is pretty cool. So, let's just continue to make our way through these areas, and uh, we will go from there. I want to try to get to that without fight. I don't want to fight at this point, because I know we're at, like, 26 minutes here, and I need to end the video soon. But it looks like the comma is just nowhere to be found. And that's kind of sad. What does a stinky sport even do? Now I'm curious. It helps enemies escape. Um, basically, it helps them escape like they can run away. Uh, not like in battle, but like outside of battle. We've seen that happen before. But it looks like these comma will be nowhere to be found. But I want to also go back and get the bug. You want to take me on in a match? Well, looks like we're gonna have a battle today. Great! I wanted to fight someone who's good with bugs. Yeah, you, bugs. You know you're gonna lose anyway. You're pretty strange. You're pretty strange. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let the battle begin. Indeed. You were unlucky having to fight me. Whatever you say, sir. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just start off on the offensive here. There's no reason not to just wail on him and take him out really fast. Actually, taking out this corner guy really does uh, give me a pretty good advantage, even though, ow, a B rank move? Jeez. That's pretty intense, but let's just. Actually, I guess, honestly, it's almost a bad decision. Actually, actually, yeah, this will just kill this guy, and then I can just switch around and. Uh, get everyone else the experience. I mean, this battle is practically won already. We're at the point at this point, really, where uh, we just kind of win these battles regardless because our Divine Beasts have gotten really, really powerful at this point, so no more of these long, intense fights. We're just going to be kicking butt and taking names. And we're all out of names! Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, yeah, you can deal some damage to me, but Scooter doesn't care. Scooter does a little dance, and Scooter heals everyone. That's just what he does. He's pretty good at it. And uh, we'll head into this formation and kill this guy in a couple hits. And then uh, it's a simple matter of just going to here and finishing him off. Although I guess he's going to outspeed me, so maybe in the interest of not taking damage, although that's like totally like weak damage right there. Or we'll just, you know, this will just be a thing. We'll just waste MP. I mean, that's cool. I guess I kind of skipped through his text there accidentally. Since when did it get so low? There. Oh, satisfied now? You have neither blood nor tears. No, oh, we made him sad. Oh. Well, we're still not getting the uh, things we need, though, to get our. Uh, well, we're getting a lot of experience there. We still haven't found the comma we need, but I'm not going to progress any further. Oh, you're terrible. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I get it. You wanted this, right? Huh? Well, I didn't exactly want that. Here you go. Take it. Man, he is all sorts of That's whiny. That's a good item. I don't need it, so take it. Go away. 
I managed to win, but it's no fun at all. The bug guys are weird. deliver the finishing move, so he gets big headed. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, I guess that's the key spore for this one. Interesting. But like I said, I still need to merge, so... And we're already at 30 minutes. So unless we find a thing, like, right around here that has it, have the calm I need, please? Nope. So I'll probably be re-going uh, through the win area and grabbing the calm I do need. So unless... Oh, we have another chance. Another chance? Hey! We got one of them! Run! This guy's angry. He's all sorts of angry. He mad, bro. So, it's a peeper. We've seen this before. We'll just go ahead and he can blind me probably, but uh, that's fine. Because I don't want to do damage anyway, because I want to spread out the experience for no reason. So, that still gets him the experience, no matter what. So, we'll go ahead and heal up. And then we'll switch out to other people and, you know, drill from here. So, uh, and then after this, like, I know the video has run really long already, but I will quickly go and, uh, I'll quickly go. I guess I can merge and do all that next time, because I still need to get the other comma regardless. And I'd rather get that as soon as possible. So, uh, I don't know. I'm really, like, torn as to what exactly I want to do with all this. Because I got the one of the comma I need. I just don't have the the, the one of the bug, the, the magic, which is what I need for a little foo. And I also want to hatch that bug anyway, because if I hatch the bug, we'll uh, be able to do stuff with it, so that's a thing. How close is Ceiling to getting a level? If he's close, then I'm going to be worried about the merging, but other than that, uh, he's still really far away. So I'm going to head back at this point. Well, I'll, I'll quickly make sure this area is done, but I'll head back, um, and I guess what's going to happen is, okay, I'm going to head back now. I'm going to merge, I'm going to hatch, I'm going to deal with all that, and then uh, we will end the episode, and I will do the rest of the wind forest. I'll pick up the comma at the beginning of the video, and I'll merge at the beginning of the video, hopefully, uh, for little foo, and then we will go from there. So, well, we still have to quickly take care of these things. Yeah, long episodes again, but I really wanted to get this taken care of now, but as opposed to, but, yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying. So, we have this guy, yay, and this guy, yay! Honestly, like, it'd be kind of an interesting idea to give a little foo that one, but I really want the actual power. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and catch a bug. So the thing is, I had a different Divine Beast in mind I wanted to name as my wind formation person. And I was gonna name it after Madame Wario, because we're also good friends, but, uh... I'm gonna name this one after her, because this is the guy that's probably gonna end up on the team. Even though it's a bug, and probably not the best representation of it. Like, you're not going to find many pretty things here anyway. And I want someone, I want uh, that in my party. So, that's the reasoning behind this name here. I had a different idea in mind, but I can't guarantee I'll get that monster anyway. And it's almost better to get this one anyway. So, for, for uh, the ability to, you know. Basically, it's better to get this one early just because it'll get stronger in time. So, there's that. And then finally, we get to merge ceiling! Yay! So we will merge with uh, the C element here. Yeah, it just gives another 10 thing, but I don't care. Having a C version of the dark move is always good. It'll give him an extra boost of power, and that's good. So I still question whether or not what I did with Tamal was worthwhile, but hopefully it'll, be, it'll work out by the time we get to S rank stuff. That's the ideal. So... With that, guys, this is Lucky7DX signing out. A bit of a very long episode, but uh, we have our, another merge. I'll get the merge for Foo going next time, and we will finish up the Wind Forest. So Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.